it's Sunday, it is 13 days out, so me and Chris have just went for probably a, how long did it take, about half an hour walk to go grab a coffee and then we're going to walk back, go to the gym and going to do some shopping today, but just got double shot, long black and you got flat white that flat was white. not a flat white that is where the coffee started was eat that was how much broth was in it shout out, yeah, shout out. Right. so yes i'll follow you through my day it is 10 30 and i'm having my first meal for the day it's a low carb day today 90 carbs I'm two weeks out now, it's kind of the business end of the season. I really need to dial in and tighten up a bit more. So, first meal. Yes, my first meal is cauliflower rice mixed with a YoPro yogurt. Yeah, you're looking at me like, oh my fucking god, what the even, what the hell. I'll show you. That's my first meal. Isn't it beautiful? I'm sorry, but it actually tastes pretty good. So that is my first meal. I just was like sitting in the car. I mean, Chris are just driving home. Car's pretty silent because like I can't even be bothered talking really. That's how, I don't know, I just have those moments throughout the last, you know, couple of days heading into sort of the business end of the season where it's like kind of really getting difficult sometimes mentally i guess uh but i did want to just talk about like oh it's hot did just want to talk about like the i don't know like i've just been thinking there's all this pressure well not pressure but there's like so much people that talk about self like happiness and how to find you happy and all this sort of bullshit and like I understand like it's important to be happy and things like that but I think the way it is saturated throughout social media of like how to find you happy and things like that really overemphasizes the importance of feeling happy all the time like I feel like shit right now but I know that I'm still happy, if you know what I mean. Whereas, like, other people, they sort of get the whole, I feel like, shit confused with, oh, that means I'm not happy. That sort of thing. Just because it's so, like, advertised on, like, self-love and feeling happy and all this sort of thing that, like, just been thinking, like, oh, I'm not happy at the moment. But it's like, fuck off. I am happy. Like yeah it's really hard and yeah this sucks and yeah i'm really down at the moment but like even if right now in this very moment i feel really shit i still know i'm happy if you know what i mean so i did just want to have a talk and be like it's oh i just want to tell you guys that it's okay to not be like fucking rainbows and unicorns all the time i sound so like about it but this is just what's coming to my mind right now and I honestly just wanted to say like yeah it's okay to not be happy it doesn't mean you're a shit human or it doesn't mean you need to fix something or you've got something wrong with you like it's okay to not be happy sometimes and it's okay to not be okay sometimes like that's life shit happens like it's it's just okay like i feel like so many people just put so much pressure on trying to be like happy dandy go lucky i love life all the time and that's just not how life's gonna go all the time so wow i just like said it straight up and i don't know i hope you guys can like take that take it the way I'm trying to say it, interpret it that way. I don't mean to be a downer, I don't mean to say like, you know, be depressed or anything, but it's just, it's okay. Like if you need to cry, you need to cry. If you need to be shitty, you need to be shitty. Like 
your emotions are a compass it's not you're not gonna just stay ecstatically happy all the time and I feel like youtubers and things like that just like advertise like oh you need to be happy self-love and love love happy rainbows unicorns and glitter and shit but hey it's life and I'm gonna stop talking now because I think I've read too long so I'm just sitting back outside having a post gym feed I've got the low carb spuds um, which are potatoes if you're not in Australia spuds are potatoes they're low carb from the supermarket 400 grams and I mashed it with 150 grams of just plain chobani so instead of using that like milk and cream I use chobani and I've got three chicken kebab skewers taken off that are tomato and basil flavored cooked them up in the pan and put them on top all right so I am 12 days out and guess what I'm having for dinner tonight I'm having pizza so I've got this protein pizza base so SPG supplies sent this to me a long long time ago and I really wanted to use it but I knew I was cutting I knew I had a cut coming up so I wanted to save it for that I'll put the link of where you can get this from, SVG Supplies. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can go on and have a look for yourself. But you've also got, you can get muffin mix, pancake mix and all that sort of thing. And the macros are 190 calories, 24.9 protein, 7.5 fat and 2.3 carbs. So it is amazing and all you do is you put 180 grams of egg whites in a bowl, which I have, and then just 80 grams of this pizza-based stuff. So I'm going to do that. Protein pizza. So this, the macros on this bad boy are amazing. It's about 600 calories. It is about 60 protein, 40 carbs, and 15 fat. That is just roughly what I think it is. Sitting here with my sugar-free vanilla Pepsi Max because I'm fucking hungry but I don't want to eat yet. I just want to like, I've had a meal, I have eaten and it's quarter past 12 and I'm hungry again but I kind of want to wait till 1 o'clock to have lunch, kind of push it back. So I'm just having one of these but I'm actually editing this video and I'm really bad at ending, filming the end of videos like oh that's going to conclude the video, see you in the next one sort of thing. So I'm editing this video and I've shown my dinner and then it's cut off and finished. So I'm going to conclude it now. <laughs> so this video is going to be concluded right now on another day but I did just want to say because I don't say it enough, I don't introduce videos very well, I don't end them very well. But I did just want to say, like, thanks so much for watching everyone. I know everyone, that's what everyone says. But thank you, really thank you. Um, this is doing YouTube videos and things like that. I obviously am very small time. I don't get that many views or that many comments. But I do have, the, the ones that I do get, you guys are super loyal. And I love the comments, the feedback and all that sort of thing, the questions you ask and all of that. So my loyal, loyal followers and new ones to come and things like that. I really do hope you enjoy my channel and I'll see you in the next video. So close to this competition. I just want to do it. Do it, do it, do it. And my comp brain almost had me forget my typical goodbye.